So we're allowing, we're allowing tremendous numbers of people into our country from Syria, from parts of the massive terrorist world. We have no idea who they are. Law enforcement says there's no way really to vet them. There's no real paperwork. There's a lot of false paperwork. And we're allowing, and Hillary Clinton wants to allow 550% more coming in than Obama. So I, I read this today, and so many people standing outside, they heard me, they said, would you do it again? I said, I'll do it again. And it's called the snake. And it represents, in my mind, what's going to happen in our country. Because this is like the Trojan horse. We're allowing people in. And I have a bigger heart. I have a big heart. I want to take care of people. I want to build safe zones in Syria. I want to have the Gulf states pay for it. We don't have, hey, we're at 20 trillion, okay, folks? It's time we stop. We've spent probably four to five trillion in the Middle East. You know, we have nothing, nothing. If we would have done nothing in the Middle East, we would have been unbelievable. So we've spent all of this money in the Middle East. We have nothing for it. And here's the story. So I read this, and a lot of people love it. And think of it as what happens if we're not smart, tough, and vigilant in our borders with people coming in that we don't know about them, that we don't know who they are, where they come from, especially when you have a track record of violence all over the world. What the hell do we need it for? We'll build safe havens, but what the heck, what are we doing? So, are you ready, folks? <laughs> Called the snake. On her way to work, one morning, down the path along the lake, a tender-hearted woman saw a poor, half-frozen snake. His pretty colored skin had been all frosted with the dew. Oh, well, she cried, I'll take you in, and I'll take care of you. Take me in, oh, tender woman, take me in for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed the broken snake. She wrapped him up all cozy in a curvature of silk, then laid him by the fireside with some honey and some milk. Now she hurried home from work that night. As soon as she arrived, she found that pretty snake. She'd take it had been totally revived. Take me in, O oh tender woman, take me in for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed the broken snake. Now she clutched him to her bosom. You're so beautiful, she cried. But if I hadn't brought you in by now, you certainly might have died. Now she stroked his pretty skin and then she kissed and held him tight. But instead of saying thank you, that snake gave her a vicious bite. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed the vicious snake. I saved you, cried that woman. And you've bit me, heavens, why? You know your bite is poisonous. And now I'm going to die. Oh, shut up, silly woman, said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. Be careful, folks. Be careful, Altoona. People put all over the country, we don't even know where the hell they're being put. You know that, right? Your government officials don't even know, many of them don't even know.
Your governors don't know. Your senators don't know. You don't even know. This could be the great Trojan horse. This could replace the story of the Trojan horse, okay?